This episode's FDR shoutout goes to ya boy Ninja and Dexter No. Thanks for giving me a laugh, boys. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's up, Cory Gang Fish fam? You're watching The Fish for Thought, and welcome back to another Fish Tank review. Hey, we're almost at 60k or we are at 60k. I'm not sure where we will be when this video comes out, but when we do reach 60k, there will be another giveaway and this time it's going to be my aquarium box and this company sends out subscriptions of mysterious aquarium supplies. It's going to be a surprise. The winner will get one month free Omni subscription to my aquarium box. All you have to do is go follow me on Instagram and there will be details uh, in the post that I will be posting soon after. So make sure to be on the lookout for that and the winner is announced on my Instagram story. This guy used to float upside down 24 seven. I made him a life jacket. That is, now he can eat and swim by himself again. So it was like a swim bladder issue. This is like a wheelchair for a goldfish. Show Kekko some love. That is cute. Um, but immediately a few issues come out. So it's like the typical yes, but no. That thing, if it's permanently around the body, uh, and this was commented in the Reddit thread where I found this, it's going to cause some flesh wounds because it's constantly grinding up against the scales. I don't care what material it is, even if it's silk, and it's definitely not silk, it's something harder and more abrasive than that. Even if it is silk, something even softer, it's still not really gonna work because, like as a permanent solution, because it's just anything in contact with scales that are not supposed to be repeatedly, time and time again, at least a thousand times a day, I would imagine. That's not gonna work very well to the flesh, to the slime coat of the fish. But it's such a neat idea and it's so satisfying to see your fish swimming upright again, especially if it's being cursed by the evil swim bladder disease. Some comments say feed it peas. It's not really gonna do anything because peas are usually for constipation and swim bladder disease has nothing to do really with the digestive system. And you know what else has nothing to do with the digestive system? the like button. Except if this video gets more likes, that means it'll be pushed out by YouTube more with the algorithm, which means people will watch it more, which means I might make a few bucks more, which means I can put more food on my table. So, which then goes into my digestive tract. I, I guess, yeah, it, it does have something to do with the digestive system. Smash that like button, feed me. <laughs> I'm hungry all the time. And feed Rapashi, she doesn't get to eat if I don't get to eat, right? Is that how it works? Speaking of food, birthday cake and you buy me. No, nothing says appetizing than putting a fish uh, in the smack middle of your birthday cake. It looks really good if there was no live fish right in the middle of your birthday cake. Happy birthday, dude. Turns out it's not a dude. Why would anyone want this? The kid's probably gonna get ammonia poisoning from water spillover. A grown woman made it for her birthday. I've lost faith in humanity. We shouldn't have had any in the first place, man. Here, Pashi. You waking up? You waking up, buddy? Oh, okay. Marketplace post great aquarium converted from salt water to fresh water. Like that is the main point here. Not that there's a red belly piranha in your aquarium. Oceanic BioCube 22 gallon with stand, $150. That's great. Except there's a piranha in your aquarium. Ever think about that? In a 22 gallon. I know it doesn't mean much to you, but it means a lot to the piranha, let me tell you that. <laughs> no special tittle, just people being idiots. <laughs> okay, um, yes, the turtle's really bad, but if you're gonna make a post like this, make sure you don't typo the word title into tittle and then call people idiots. <laughs> that was almost funny enough for me to oversee this. Jokes. It's not, this is way, way too horrible for that. Some people might not even be able to keep crickets in that small of a container and they think it's inhumane to, to put a few little bugs in there. You got a turtle, buddy. And you didn't even fill it up to the brim. It's like insult to injury. Have you ever considered how that turtle would feel in there? Do you really think that turtle has a, 
has it all well. I'm sure whoever owns this turtle was like, I love my turtle so much, I got a pet turtle, I love it, and posted it all over Instagram or whatever, TikTok. Do you really love this turtle? Do you treat something you love this way? You do you, pal. Just leave the turtle out of it. You're lucky the turtle girl doesn't know about this. She's gonna, she's gonna have a field day with you, buddy. Destiny Wit sent in this tank. Simple and yet elegant, and it's not, it's not overplanted. But I'm not really complaining because it's got that island look, and I don't know if you're just a master aquascaper or if this was a fluke. But the lines coming out of the wood plus the texture of the rock brings this together quite, very quite nicely. That albino quarry gang in the bottom corner. 4.5 out of 5. I love that heartscape. Garrett, what's up? You got a nice carpet, you got a nice big Amazon sword, and a cool betta. Now, what's wrong with it? Can you guess? For me, I don't know why there is blue gravel <laughs> on the bottom. It almost seems like it's really just a confused tank. You got like a five-year-old's input, like, Daddy, put blue gravel on the bottom, it'll look nice. And then you got like a master aquascaper with that awesome carpet. So I don't know what happened. Maybe it is like a daddy-son duel here, or daddy or mother-daughter duel, or the other way, I don't know, just parent-kid thing is what I'm trying to get at. So I'm conflicted. Do I rate it a 4.5 out of 5 or a 3.5 out of 5? Let's go with a 4, shall we? <laughs> Sand can be a bit. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. This is why I always use saran wrap or a plate while you are putting water in your new fish tank. Or else it might end up like this, looking like a snow or sand block in Minecraft. Damn, dude. Uh, this is some new tank syndrome to the max. Never seen it like this. It's not actually new tank syndrome, it's just the sand has not at all settled. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. This is taken from The Office, where Pam makes some work for Creed, who just became the branch manager. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's in one of the later seasons. There's no difference between that clown and that fishbowl. I agree. I approve. Good job, Ben. Oh no. <laughs> Someone sent in this meme on the Discord channel. Oh. Bro. Paul Cafaro putting new fish two new bettas in that tank. I don't know if he actually did it. I think the uh, three-year-old kids defending him are gonna be like, he only put it in there and then took it out. Well, you can you can kill someone and say sorry after. <laughs> Still doesn't change the fact that you killed someone. You can swear at your parents and then say sorry after. Doesn't change the fact that you swore at them, which is horrible and which I assume Paul Cafaro fans would do anyway. I don't know why, maybe I'm making a bad assumption here. Let me know, Paul Cafaro fans, and leave a dislike on your way out, thanks. Boost the algorithm. Make a few more accounts to dislike this video if you can, if you have the time. If you're not too busy watching Paul Cafaro. <laughs> Rapashi has left the server because I mentioned he who shall not be named. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys, he's not that bad. Aiden Kaplanis sent in this tank. Right off the bat, you already know what I'm gonna say about that dragon. It's cool, but Maybe a little out of place in a fish tank. I don't know. If you like that, hey man, all the more to you. That wood piece has a lot of potential though, and the plants are nice. I'm not sure if the background plants can be a little bit more green. Maybe there's some deficiency somewhere. Double check on those lights. Double check on the lighting hours. The stocking is not bad. Um, I'm wondering if it's a little overstocked for the betta and so many other fish. Looks like either white clouds or some sort of albino zebra daniel. There might be a guppy in there. I see the nearite snail. I love nearite snails. Good job. Nutritious substrate. I'm going to give this a 3.9 out of 5. Keep it up, lots of potential here. Ashton sent in this tank. Bright substrate right off the bat. There is so much loaded into the tank. I love the woodwork. I think you probably combined a few wood pieces here and there. That looks amazing. You planted all over it with java moss, it looks like, or some other kind of moss, I don't know. Java moss is not the only moss available, not by a far long shot. The other plants are great. I like that you threw in a lily in there. There's other interesting little plants. I don't see any stocking, that means it's understocked, but I would like to see some kind of fish because at the end of the day it is a fish tank. Some of my viewers are like, Chris, this, are you sure you're fish for thought? It should be like plants in a fish tank for thought. You have a point. I see that point. <laughs> tank looks pretty good though. I'm gonna have to give it a 4.3 out of 5. Keep it up. From the film Saving Face. Never seen this before. Decent movie, crappy aquarium. I'll say. 
I mean, I wouldn't call this an aquarium at all. These goldfish can get massive, and then they're gonna get stunted in growth because they're in a small container, and they create these hormones or enzymes or proteins, I'm not sure what they create, but it makes it so that they can't really keep growing. And you fix this by putting them in a larger, much larger tank so that their enzymes can disperse out of the water, and with more frequent water changes, it won't disrupt their growth. It's always Facebook. When you love your fish so much, you just want to be a little bit closer to him. This is not cute at all, and the little kid can even drown. Right, Rapashi? Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> don't jump on my face, I don't like that. I don't like when you jump on my face. One of the comments is like, that diaper is probably the cleanest water filter that tank has seen in years. That is so savage. Matthew Geyer sent in this tank. Nice beta, nice rock work with the wood. Jeez, guys, you, you guys have been submitting some really good tanks with really good hardscapes these days. That's great. I'm always saying there's not enough hardscape sometimes, but I'm seeing some ample hardscape these days. Love that Oko stone. I think you use some smaller pieces to put it together. Oh, that hardscape is great. Just lacking maybe a bit of plants here and there, especially in the back. But I'm really digging the hardscape. It's a beta tank. You're treating your beta really well, it seems. 4.35 out of 5. Keep it up. Still awaiting the response of the let go seller about how many gallons aren't being used in this 10 fish torture chamber. When you're so upset that you become a keyboard warrior just to reply back to someone selling an item, which is great, I love your passion. And it says condition like new. If you ask the fish that are living in it what the condition is, they'd be like death. Maybe you should change it to conditioner, never used. Count the fish, no thanks. Help with cloudy water, 55 gallon. Is that the most that you need help with right now? Help with cloudy water? If you don't know what cloudy water is when it seems like a new tank that you set up, you really shouldn't have two gigantic Oscars. Let me just say, anyone who doesn't know what cloudy water is, new tank syndrome is something that Oscar owners should be very familiar with. Oscars are not beginner fish, but new tank syndrome is a beginner issue. Beginners always wonder why their tank is cloudy. Not to mention the barf gravel. We gotta have that, right? Someone on Discord arguing that this is an ideal way to keep a beta. Each tank is one gallon. What's more, they have pretty good knowledge on how to keep a turtle, but they seem really lazy to do any form of research on bettas. What a weird scenario. You love your turtle but hate bettas for some reason. This guy probably feeds his turtle bettas as a special treat as well. Oh no. Thought you said batteries. Mmm, Duracell. <laughs> Give me the discord. Sorry, but the problem is that this guy is one of the admins. Uh-oh, if he finds out that somebody posted this photo in this specific subreddit, he'll keep searching and might somehow find out it's me and kick me out of the group. Yikes. Now that's a power-hungry admin. That's a big no-no in my discord. So weird someone would be able to see how to take care of a turtle, how other people suck at it, and not make the connection that people do the same thing with bettas, and he's just misinformed. Turtle care is a lot of work and money. I think you hit the nail on the head with this one. Turtle care is much harder, so if you're good with a turtle, you should be stellar with better care. It has a Marimo in there, so it must be fine. One of the biggest myths of all. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come, and don't forget to get your hands wet.